Hi, this is Heather Wood with the Urban Evergreen Bee Sanctuary in Olympia, Washington, a nonprofit charitable organization here in the Evergreen State. I'm going to show you around my shop and answer a question briefly. <laughs> Heather, how did you turn your carport into a woodworking shop and how did you build all of these beehives? I have a passion and where you have passion, you have possibility. And so I, um, I'm going to bet that there are people out there who also share a vision with me of seeing um, beehives in every backyard. And I'm going to help you um, make that happen if that's what you want to do. So any information that I can share with you, uh, I am more than happy to do. I, um, I just started uh, woodworking two and a half months ago. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. I'm going to quickly show you around my shop and sign out. Um, so let me turn my camera around. Bear with me. This is the collection of beehives that I've made. No, they're not finished yet. And uh, so let me show these to you real quick. This is my carport. And I just, like I said, I started with a vision. I had no experience in woodworking. I had taken a, a quick proficiency class at the college. Right. But I, you know, I, I had no idea that this little groove in here had to be done with a router. I had absolutely no clue as to how I was going to manage to create these beautiful top bars for the beehive. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to, I mean, really, I didn't know how to do this. And I, I just knew, I, I, you know, I have this sense that I can do anything. So what I did is I went down to the farmer's market and I got a bunch of orders for beehives as a nonprofit organization. And what I th said to myself, okay, I'm going to build a bunch of beehives and by the time I'm done with these beehives, I'm going to know how to do it. And it's going to enable me, this experience will enable me to learn on a small scale so I don't, you know, it's not like I, I had a, a, an order for a thousand and, and not knowing what, how I was going to accomplish that. Now I know how to build them. And I know that I can uh, build thousands more. So great. I had uh, Renata, a friend of mine, donated her table saw. And this fits, just a minute, this fits right in the closet. I've got to go. My daughter's back from her friend's house. This is where I store the wood. My lovely volunteers have reorganized this for me. <clears throat> Tools, lumber fits in here. And oh, and that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot. I'm going to sign out now. And this is my daughter, Adeline. Bye bye.